Today's video is on using your jelly prints to create a mixed media bird collage. We're gonna be working from the base that we created in part one, or rather a photocopy of the base that we created in part one using all our jelly prints. And if you haven't seen that video, we'll put the link in the information below. Okay, let's get started. I already did a bird, but I didn't have the video on, so I'm going to recreate it now. I'm using this bird as a reference from this copyright free book, but if you have your own bird image, then that would be even better. Okay, I'm gonna use blue chalk. Um, I normally like charcoal, but the charcoal is a little hard to see on this since it's kind of a dark background. And I'm going to uh, guess for the eye right at a pivotal point of the paintings for composition's sake. I uh, got the feet coming down here and the branch. Moving to my charcoal now, get a little better definition of the head. This is all negotiable as we move through the painting. Okay, I think that's good for getting started. We'll squeeze out a little paint and lay this in so we can see where we're going. I'm gonna use some Liquitex Basics White and some of my special blend Liquitex Gesso with a little bit of quinacridone nickel azo gold in it to tint it. This gives really good coverage. And then we'll just carve out our shape and see if we like it. Again, this sort of what is known in water media as negative painting because I'm painting around the shape that I want to protect. I don't have to protect the tree branches because we can just paint right over that. We'll add some more paper to make the bird more interesting. Might want to change that shape a little bit. Okay, and as you can see, some of the textures and so on are showing through there. And now that I can see the bird shape more, we've got the head here. We want a little more attitude for the feathers on the head. The wings are here. Here's the other wing. I got a little bit fat here, so let's bring this foot down here and a little more roundness here. That looks better. Okay, I like that better. And let's add in a little bit of white for what's happening on the bird's head there So and planning ahead for an eye. All right, so um, in this one, we had some interesting papers here. I'll definitely be doing that again. I feel like I wanna add some of these darks also. That's actually kind of fun right there. And I'm a big fan of tearing the paper rather than cutting it, which can be challenging at times if you're trying to get a particular shape. I'm just gonna put that on like right there. I like tearing it. The beauty of playing with collage is that you can see what you might do before you do it, which gives you a lot more option rather than when you put the paint on, it's it's more of a commitment. All right, so um, just plotting out some shapes while this is drying a little bit. I kind of like that. We'll start with that and see where we get shown to go next. Okay, so I added a little more charcoal in here and I'm going to come back with some different color for the background and the bird because right now at the temperature of the painting, it's a little cool and I would like it to feel warmer, meaning I want more sort of yellow orange and less of this um, blue gray. And it's all negotiable at this point. That was my special tinted gesso, yellow orange azo. That's the Liquitec nickel azo gold here. Some Liquitec vivid red orange some of this teal. So again, I'm gonna go into my background. A lot of painting for me 
is about staying motivated because I like what's happening on the paper. And if I don't, it's harder for me to want to go back in. So that's what I'm doing right now. And honestly, I'm a little bit nervous because you guys are watching. And then we'll add a little bit of the um, warmer tones in here in the background. I see I'm feeling so much better about that. I want that warm tone in the background. Just listen to what my instincts are telling me. I want to bring some of that brightness into the bird like I have on my other one. I do like that. Bringing some detail to the head of the bird since that's going to be a focal point. And looking at the reference, well I won't hold up the book, but looking at this one you can see how the face is white around that dark eye and that really makes it stand out. So we'll start doing some of that here and get ready for the eye. I like to do that um, a little later in the painting. And let's see what other pattern we can get in the bird to make it super fun and interesting. Let's see what papers we have available. Okay, so here's what I found. I just like put all kinds of little things together in plastic cello bags. But honestly, the right thing seems to pop up just when you need it. So this is looking a lot more fun to me. And let's get these pieces on here and then see where else we want to go with the bird and the background. And I did come across a piece of music, so I'm going to... Put that down as well. That's a little thicker than the a rice paper so it needs a little more attention to stay down. I need to take a picture of it where things are that I really like <laughs> and then look because by the time I, I put it on there and then I pick it up and then I don't know where it was but it all works out. All right and I just have this little uh, piece be with you um, little shred there and I think gosh couldn't we all just use a little more piece right now so I'll put that right there and that's a little thicker paper too so it's, it's going to take a little more attention to get it to stay down than the rice paper all right that's looking a lot more fun to me right now so let's see where we want to go from here I might need a little white to show the contrast here with the um, the legs of the bird on the branch. There goes part of the music already. Probably not advisable to use your fingers, but I do. Just gloves are probably better because yes, it is titanium white and yes, that is a um, substance that you should not spend a lot of time in. All right, let's carve this out a little bit more here. And um, just following what I see on the bird there, we've got some dark around the eye, and then it's really light. And then the beak is black, and it's his mouth is open, but that's not the way I'm going to do it. Remembering that the water to paint ratio with any kind of water media is how you have control or not. Uh, so I'm using the towel to take moisture out of my brush as I'm doing this. So that's what you see me doing. I kind of do it automatically without even really thinking about it at this point. All right, let's introduce a little bit of the orange up here too. I'm gonna just give him a not really following this design on the tail. I didn't get the drawing exactly right on this, but I don't think it matters. All right, so the legs are dark and that's happening. I do kind of like the um, stripe that's on here, but I don't know that I wanna cover this up. I think it's kind of fun. Um, let's get that branch in there because I won't put the feet over it till I get more um, volume on the branch. Um, 
This is heavy body, is a body sepia. It's a Holbein color. I'll show you how to just give some volume to that branch. Then the um, Nicolazzo gold, and then the white, and that will give us, you can see here how it's light on this side, and then it's shadowed underneath. So let's get that in there. And then we can do the feet. So we'll do it really light on the top. We continue that branch on up, then mid-range, mid-tone, and then we'll do the dark for the underside. You can see how that starts to give volume and contour to that branch. It's still a little bit fat. That's better. Gotta find something to put right there because this line should really be going this way. So let me look through my papers again. Okay, so I found what I think will work here. And this is how it's looking so far. I'm gonna put this here, I think it's just right. And then we will continue on with the branch. And actually, I think we're getting pretty close, which is great. I think that's nice. Then we'll find the um, find his feet here again. All right, and like that a little bit better. And get the feet in here using black for that. Actually, I better mix that up, or it'll look too solid. Feet over the branch. His little beak in there a little bit better. Clean this up. That's better. Let's give a nice little um, highlight to that eye. And uh, I'm being sort of sketchy here because I don't want it to be too solid. You can, of course, do it the way you want to. Let's get a little more um, orange in here, yellow orange. I want to see that head brighten up. Let's set this off with blue, a blue background, and then we'll add in the um, branches. And a little bit, I think we're going to do a little bit of stamping so that we have some texture in the background. You see how much when the acrylic is thin, it's almost just like watercolor which is why I guess I love it so much. And so you can see how the music um, paper is peeking through, but it's not really obvious. I like that. And now we'll add in a little bit of the branches. This brush is, um, I was taught it's called a rigger, but it's actually a liner brush. And it works great for um, tree branches and uh, making, you know, bushes or whatever. Um, so that's just a great tool to have. Okay, so I said I was going to do a little stamping in the background, and we need that to dry, and then that'll that'll do it for us. I think it's dry enough. I added a tiny bit of charcoal and I did add a little more of this yellow right here. So just to finalize, I thought we could just repeat very softly in the background a little bit of this pattern using the Ranger Distress Oxide stamp pads. This is very, very subtle. I'm just using a little uh, stamper pad here and we'll just get a little bit of this in here, just a little pattern. I mean, it's barely noticeable, but it's something and it adds a little bit of interest. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Uh, we'll do a little bit more over here. Well, I think that's a good place to call it. You can choose which one you like better. Um, it's another way you can use your papers. So we have a couple more projects to go. I will see you very soon. Happy creating. Mm -hmm.